Hey people, it's me Tristan and this is a, a bit long overdue video of the Spooky Toberfest. I actually finished it on time but I... So it's a this cosmic weird thing out of space with all these weird colors and it's all intentional because I want it to look unearthly or like from a different dimension or from a different time and place. I did another thing that I think is a bit spooky, maybe for me. But it's a shark. The miniature is actually from a toy store. And I green stuffed these bubbles on it. Also, again, with the weird unearthly color choices. I tried to make this uh, cool looking ocean base. But no, it doesn't work. So this is the end of uh, the Spooky Toberfest. What better way to end this than to start another project? Ringo is going to have that advent challenge and I'm gonna take part in it. Last year in uh, Idik Beer's January challenge, I built and painted this uh, race land as I've done anything with my elder for a long time, so I thought I should paint something for them. And here's what I'm gonna do Elder Avatar. I used some plastic card to cut out these uh, avatar horns or what do you call them? A lot of green stuff to like fix some pieces here and there. This is a spear from the Macedonian uh, Phalanx set. I attached on top of it High Elf Sword Master's sword to make it into this spear. The fluff behind it is actually that the craft world my Eldar are from actually lost their avatar to some uh, dark forces. They have been searching for their avatar ever since and they found it. Or at least they think they did. So this is one of the Katan and it's a de the deceiver. So he's imposing as the avatar, forcing the elder to fight against the Necron. My elder are kind of brainwashed in that sense that they still think this is their true avatar. It's kind of a weird fluffy story. But I'm gonna go and paint this up in Ringo's Advent Challenge. Thank you again for watching, keep it safe and I will talk to you in the next one.